Whoa, you're making a new world? Yeah, dude, look, I'm gonna try to build a mega base in one hour. Bro, that's literally impossible. How are we gonna do that? I'm gonna build some farms and it's gonna be good. Whatever. How's that mega base going, dude? I finished it already. Wait, what? Dude, wait, 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 you're playing on Java now? Bro! The first farm we're going to be taking a look at is very underrated. It's the Zero Tick Kelp Farm. In my opinion, this is one of the best farms in Minecraft Bedrock because just look at it. It's really easy to build. Now, you must be wondering, what are you going to be doing with an infinite amount of kelp? Well, it's really useful. The first thing that you can do is actually turn this farm into a little XP bank by replacing the chest with some furnaces and smelting the kelp. And you're going to be getting a really decent chunk of XP with this farm. The second thing that you can do is replace the chest with composters. And this one is really really OP. When you do that and have some hoppers under the composters, you're going to be getting an infinite amount of bone meal. And of course, you can use bone meal to bone meal. Okay, and the second farm for today is a really obvious one. It's one that you need in any survival world, and that's the iron farm. This is undoubtedly one of the best farms in Minecraft, just because iron is really important for hoppers. And as you can see, it can get you a lot of iron. So yeah, this one is pretty self-explanatory. You need an iron farm in your world, and yeah, build this one it's really good okay and now we're gonna move on to the spicy stuff and this farm is really spicy you can guess it easily from what i'm holding in my hand and yes it's the afk fish farm well afk with an auto clicker but uh, yeah i'm not even joking i really think this is the best farm in all of minecraft because as you can see it's like really small and it's really cheap but if you use it you're still gonna end up with some really really good loot as you can see you can get some name tags some saddles some enchanted fishing rods and bows but that's not the best of it it's the Knowledge. books just look at all of these books that I got like in 10 minutes of fishing like look at these two I mean this one is I don't know it's, it's not that good and to use it's really simple all you have to do is get a fishing rod look at the slab and fish and that is literally it now you just wait for it to go down and fish again it doesn't get any easier than this all right all right all right this time we're in the end and the reason we're here is because the fourth form is none other than the infamous shulker farm i know i said it like a million times in this video but this farm is really good and because it is first of all as you can see it's really small and it's really cheap and of course it's shulker farm so you're gonna be getting some shulker boxes i mean shulker shells which you can then make shulker boxes out of and this farm is just perfect because if i just switch my game mode to survival it is gonna work automatically i don't have to do anything i just have to stand between these two blocks and that is literally it the way it works is really simple like these shulkers are gonna be shooting their little like like balls but when they die as you can see they just respawn and we just get an infinite amount of shulker boxes uh shulker shells whatever anyways it's time for number five and uh, we're in a swamp oh, oh. Oh, oh. But yeah, we're in a swamp because the next farm is a witch farm. And I'm really sorry, but like I have to say this. Um, this is one of the best farms in Minecraft Bedrock. Oh my god, bro. Oh. Because as you can see, again, it's really small. It doesn't take that much space. It's really easy to build. And it will get you a lot of really good stuff. This is what I got from like 10 minutes of AF King. But the best thing about this farm is gonna be the gunpowder. Because it's just really easy to use. You're gonna just gonna go here, like 30 blocks away from the farm. You're gonna stand here here and th that's what? it <laughs> that is literally it presenting to you the best farm in minecraft bedrock it's the mob farm Do -do 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 but yeah as you know it mob farms are really op because you can get a lot of loot from them like just look at all of this stuff and are also going to be getting some xp but this is not any mob farm this is probably the most efficient design of a mob farm it works with layers it uses scaffolding to maximize mob spawns and it's just look at it, it looks so cool this is what it looks like from inside as you can see we have like some mobs dropping so yeah they spawn here they get pushed by the water and they go into the hole and they just die so yeah these were all the six farms that you need to build in minecraft bedrock and trust me if you do you're basically gonna have everything in that world i mean except the life <laughs> Bye-bye!